Hello guys, this is Kefana from Rockstar the Gaming and in this video I will show you how to install the Bed of Middle Earth 2 expansion, The Rise of the Witch King. Uh, let's get started. Uh, so, in the last video we installed the base game for Bed of Middle Earth 2, um, but you might have installed it yourself in, on a different time. Um, before you are going to install The Rise of the Witch King, please check that the version for the Bed of Middle Earth 2 is version 106. Um, you can also do this after the installation, but just beware that the version of the base game has to be 106 before trying to launch the expansion, okay? Um, so, for the installation of the Rise of the Witch King, you need a few files. One is the main game uh, file, which is one of these links. Just download them. I already downloaded the files, so you don't need to wait for me. And there's two patch files. One is the uh, 201 and one is the 202 um, patch installer. Okay, so you can download these files. So there's one, there's two, and there is a three. Um, and of course, if you have don't have a key generator yet or you don't have a CD key, you can download this one. Okay, so step one, we're going to launch the installer by double clicking the uh, uh, installation file which was the first step. Uh, you can see it is mounted now. Also, my previous installation is still mounted. I can might as well check it. I don't need it anymore. And here it is. It's mounted. You can check by my computer. And you go. You double click the auto run. Press yes. And we're going to install the game. So, okay. And there we go. We need to install it again. Uh, as I said in the last videos, if you are downloading the key generator and your antivirus is giving uh, some error, red flag or anything else, um, turn off your antivirus for a short while, then um, open the key generator and uh, copy the code or write it down somewhere so you can use it during the installation and then turn on your antivirus again, okay? I'm not going to do that here because I don't have any issues doing that. Um, so for me, I have this setup here and I will open the key generator that I downloaded from the link on the website. Uh, this is the key generator. I will go to the Rise of the Witch King and I will generate a key. As I've been saying, please do not use the same key as I am and for your friends, do not use uh, the same key ever. Okay, if you want to play together, don't use the same key. It will give an error that you are using the same key. Okay, I will enter the code. Bum, 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 bum. Set five, S A. There you go. So now the game will be installing. I will always do it in the default directory. You do as you wish. And it's installing pretty quick. In the meantime, you can already, um, already download the patch files, the 201 and the 202. Um, then it will be done soon. There you go. I will not try to launch the game because I know it will not work. I will hit finish. And now I'm going to patch the game. So the first file I will open is the 201. This is this file. Do not try install the 2.02 .02 version. If you have accidentally, you should reinstall the game because it will glitch and you will have different versions and people online will most likely hate you. So please, if you made a mistake, don't feel bad, just reinstall the game. It will be take only take a few minutes of your life, okay? First hit the th <coughs> Excuse me. First hit the 201 patch. Click or click, click OK, and just patch it. And go to the second one, the 202. Same thing. Just open it. And press yes. And the robot is very nice. Installer, additional music, I would love it. Hit next, hit OK, hit install.
Okay, I will create it as a shortcut. And that's it. I installed the game. It's pretty easy, actually. Um, there you go. Let's go here. So I installed the game, and I installed the patch switcher, and this is the shortcut that I made. Uh, as you can see in the shortcut, there's two different versions you can play. Well, actually there's more, but please don't do this, because you're <laughs> really messing up with things. Unless you're really playing the same version, of course. Um, I'll be playing the 2.2 version. L let's go. Um, but l first, let's check if we have the 2. Point. Yes, it's 1.6. Okay, this is very important. I cannot say it enough. It's very important to have it on 1.06. If you did it wrong, I have a very nice image for you, which is here. This is one of the errors that you will be getting if you did it wrong. Okay, if you have something like this, um, this is what you did wrong. Okay, this is the error you will get. So please, 106 on the base game, then try unlaunching the other game. For now, we know that this game will not work, because just like in the other games, we still need the options that you need file. I will quit the game again. If it will. Yes, please. Um, just like the other ones, we're going to copy the options.ini file, which again is here. Okay, it's the same file, you can use the same, you don't have to download it three or four or two times. You can download it again, and you can copy it, then enter this path, hit enter, double click the uh, folder for Rise of the Witch King. Which is now generated because we tried installing the game or uh, running the game. If we hadn't tried, this folder wouldn't be there. Which means that you had to make the folder yourself in this exact text. If the text is any different, it wouldn't work. Okay, so this is why we're trying to run the game. It's a lot easier. Uh, I will paste the options at any file in this folder, and that's it. It's the same file. So for me, the resolution is already fixed. Um, if you want to change your resolution, you should do it in, in here, okay? You will open this file as a notepad, and then when the resolution hits, you can change the resolution to yours. Uh, you cannot change the resolution in-game after you did it manually in the notepad, okay? You have to change it again in the notepad. Um, because when you do it in-game, it will most likely crash the game, <laughs> unfortunately. But it's not too bad. So now we had the options that any file, the base game is a 106, and our game is on 202, which means we should be able to run the game. There you go. This is patch 202. And it looks like it's working. Very cool, let's make a profile, because I'm playing with some single player sometime. Nice. Okay, the game is working. I will quit the game and not waste your time. Uh, so this is pretty much it. This is the installation. If you want to play the 201 version, you can. But when I apply it and try to launch it, it will tell me that I need a CD key, you see. I, I mean, it tells me I need a CD. Uh, for this, you can go download the CD image and then mount that image. But you can check this guide, okay. Uh, where is it? Troubleshooting... Blah 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 blah. Uh -huh. There you go. Right at the Witch King without a disc, use this CD image. Uh, and for the base game, if you want to play the other version it says 106 but it was working 106 so I don't know why it's here um, there's another image here okay so just check this out it will work okay um, I simply did this guide I did not have any of these files they are doing a great job thank you for listening uh, if you want to have more of these guys you can subscribe if you don't get it if you did something wrong or if you notice something that's not working that I did not mention please leave it in the comments and then I will try and fix it okay Thank you. Bye. Good luck.